so we are here in Smoker's Haven. This is a store in Buffalo, New York. And I just found this little mine of a pipe store here. They make their own tobacco. They make their own briar. It's one of the oldest shops here, according to the owner in this area. So let me show you some of the pipes that they make. They have cigars here also, but this is a museum. So I'm gonna show you the museum part in a little bit. This is some of their work here that they do, handmade pipes. These are done by the store owner or their or his dad. I think he told me he's been, he's a third generation here owner of this store. And let me tell you, they have quite a variety. As we know, pipe stores are dying. But this one is alive and kicking here for sure. There's your selection of a few tobaccos. They even have the newest haunted bookshop tobacco. Here's some humidors and pipe stands. More pipes. They definitely have a great selection here of Meerschaum pipes for your Meerschaum lovers. Look at that. So if you're in this area, in the Buffalo area, and you haven't been to this place, you're missing out. This is definitely a nice, nice place to find a pipe. Some handmade tobacco or something very unique for sure. This is their lighter collection for you guys that like to collect vintage lighters. Look at some of this. I'm guessing some of you guys are probably salivating here with, but this, these are, these are not for sale. These are the museum part. <laughs> and some very, very vintage Meerschaum stuff here. Look at the coloring on this one. A very unique trio here of three presidents. We have Truman, Winston Churchill, and Joseph Stalin that were carved. Some kind of fort. Somebody decided to make a pipe out of a fort. Some vintage humidors. And more and more Definitely collectibles. They have been collecting here for a while. More vintage stuff here. From Holland. They are. This is also part of the museum. Here we have Lady Fire is always in action here. We have her asking some questions uh porcelain those are really oh. big in austria oh, okay. where a lot of those came from porcelain. Where you, um, weigh them? no those these are some antique scales here okay. um wow look at that <laughs> and we have here that's another lighter and a gourd pipe yeah, Calabash. Calabash. So this store has been open for 40 years? 45 years. 45 years. Oh, so here. Oh, tell me your name again so we they know. Hey, it's Adam from Smoker's Haven. Adam from Smoker's Haven. And this is where the magic happens. This is some they have. Yeah, this is where we make the pipe. So what we do is we'll start with a block of briar. Look at that. Uh, and then we draw out our shape and we cut it out on the bandsaw. And then we just shape it in, tune it all in with the sanding disc. And uh, we're pretty old school. We actually still, we drill it by hand. Oh, I, I can see this is like handmade. I mean, you guys created that, right? Yeah, we're like <laughs> dinosaurs here. Um, it, it's truly a handmade pipe. I mean, we do everything right on the disc and we drill the holes by hand, uh -huh. which makes a big difference. We taper our bowls down, you get a really nice burn that way. 
Um, that is and, awesome. Uh, yeah, they just come out beautiful. And this is some of your dyes, probably. Uh, yep, this is some stuff that we use here to stain the pipes. How um, long have you been doing it? Uh, I've been around the shop since I was a little kid, so uh, but I've been making forever. pipes. Um, probably been carving since I was about 18 years old, okay. so a little over 10 years. And you said your dad used made pipes too? Was it oh, that? yeah, my dad, he's been making pipes for 50 years. Wow. And my grandpa actually started. Uh-huh. So I'm the third generation. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So that's the man of the magic right there. That's him. What, what's your name? Brian. Brian, we are here. Hey, the nice the channel is called Flat Cap Piper and Lady Fire. So I love it. it's going to be in YouTube and you guys will be there. We with I, your permission. With your permission, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so that anybody that lives close to this area, they know what a gem of a store, which, as I was saying, we don't have very many left pipe right. stores, you oh, know, yeah. for How's sure. How has the business been like since when you started and now that he started? Well, I it's mean, changed a lot. Uh, in cigars which are... You know, the growth on cigars is just crazy. So most of the the stores, you know, they're, that's their main bread and butter so cigar right, now. Right, not right. the pipes. Right. Mm -hmm. But we yeah. do, yeah, we're half and half. We're, we're probably 50-50 yeah. here as far as pipes and cigars. Mm -hmm. We get a lot okay. of pipe smokers here, okay. but just the whole industry in itself is just geared more towards cigars now where oh, it's wow. hard to find their old school tobacconist or mm -hmm. you know your your old school pipe shop mm -hmm. and then what we do is about probably 80 percent of our tobaccos we blend yes yeah. so they're kind of proprietary so you just can't go online and In order them. So to be, you like it, you have to come here or give you a call and yeah. we, make, and we yeah. make some good tobacco so okay. actually uh if you want you could go on our website and we mm -hmm. have a really nice it's smokers haven wny we mm -hmm. have a really nice description of all our different bulk blends that we do oh well show me a blend here and we'll, we'll start we'll here so that we get all this information on camera so this is this is where they do the magic of their blending. You were saying that you guys make some blends here and in house, so you yep. can get it on the you know some anywhere else but here. And you're talking about Brian's blend. Yeah, one of our best selling blends is this one here, Brian's blend, uh -huh. which is a blend of all Virginias, and it's unique. It's really mild. It smokes really smooth and. It's a, just an incredible smoke. So that one is has been our best seller for a long time. It okay. seems like everyone loves it. All right. And you sell it here by the ounce, I'm guessing? Yep. Okay. Yep. So we're going to take an ounce of Brian's, Brian's blend with us. And um, is this the same old Toby? Because old Toby is my favorite blend. Totally <laughs> different, I'm sure, because this is, this is our own version of old Toby. So what so is your it, version this like? Is, this is very mild uh -huh. it's uh virginia and cavendish okay and just a really smooth light smoke okay all right and show me something with latakia like maybe latakia with uh with something maybe a little bit so, towards the sweet side <laughs> um latakia and perique or just latakia no perique. no perique all right check out this one here lord nelson all right let's get, take a whiff of this turn back here so we're gonna so uh out of your latakia blends is that the one that you recommend the lord nelson yeah that is definitely one of our most popular and okay it's a little bit of a lighter english and it mm -hmm. doesn't have any of that perique in it i think it's one that you would enjoy so we'll take a uh an ounce of that of the lord nelson sounds good all right so, absolutely yeah, and we'll put that at the end of, of the video so they can see. Yeah, appreciate it. Now, anything else you would like to tell the folks here of YouTube and Rumble? Actually, we're in Rumble too, so you get two, two for one. Awesome. <laughs> uh, no, just uh, thanks for stopping by and appreciate you checking us out. And if you want to see more of our stuff, you can visit the website or uh, we have Instagram and Facebook. So just Smokers Haven, WNY, you can find our stuff. and. We appreciate it. And that's the name of the website, Smokers Haven. Yep, Smokers Haven, WNY. WNY. All right. Awesome.
this picture of the so, first generation uh, here, the grandpa who was smoking a pipe and actually yeah. blending some tobacco there, looks like. And we have some vintage cans there, velvet. So one of the most popular pictures hanging up here that everybody seems to just really Dump. love is this one up here, which has the French connection. And if you're a hockey fan or if you're from Buffalo, everyone remembers the French connection. They played for the Sabres. And, oh. um, so that's my grandpa who made them all their pipes. <laughs> so we have this, the hockey player smoking pipes. We got Rick Martin, <laughs> Rene Robert, and Gilbert Perrault. Wow, that is so cool. Someone's gonna get a kick out of this for sure. So actually guys, after I took the two um, tobaccos, I decided to go with a third one because he said his favorite is this one, the Deadwood. And he has a whiskey topping, so that's all he had to say. And he had me on that. So we're gonna take a third sample here, Deadwood. All right. I'll scan one more time here on the store. Guys, if you're around this area, come so that you don't miss out on this fabulous pipe store here in Buffalo, New York. That's where we at.